Welcome back, it's Dr. D with Salisbury Eye Care and Eyewear. And we're continuing to talk about what to expect when you're expecting. And specifically, once your baby's born, what in the world can they see? Believe it or not, when babies are first born, their vision is not great at all. If you've ever been to the eye doctor and you've looked down at the chart at the end of the room, um, if you're like me and you can't see much without your contacts, they might have scrolled it down to the big E. Well, the big E is 2400, and that is about what your child can see when they're first born. That's a pretty big target, and they're not seeing much when they're first born. The fact is, even though there's a lot of development that happens in the womb, a baby's vision, vision and visual perception is influenced greatly in their first couple years of life, specifically the first 18 months. And so there's a lot of development happening once your baby is out in the world. So another thing you might be wondering is, well, can my baby see color? And the thing is, they have not really developed that ability yet either. So babies, when they're first born, not only can they see only big targets, and you know, even at that, they're kind of fuzzy, they actually can't see color yet either. They do the very, very best with black and white. So we call that like a high contrast target is what babies see the very best. That's because their rods are developed, but their cones are not yet fully developed. Rods and cones are photoreceptors found in our retinas that um, bring in light and send that light down our visual pathway to the brain. So again, the rods are responsible for like your black and white, your high contrast targets, that's what babies can see, but they're not yet able to use the cones in their eyes. They have to develop that ability over the first couple of years. So because babies' eyes are developing um, so much when they're first born, there's actually a lot you can do as their mom or dad to influence that visual development. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that they're seeing with both eyes. It is so, so critical that a baby's eyes are both open and straight ahead and functioning well because that's how they get the vision to the back of the eye and that's how the eyes are able to develop. So what I mean by that is like, for instance, if your baby's eye were turning in all of the time, so I'm showing you like, you know, their right eye's turning in, their left eye's straight, what would happen in that instance is the left eye would get all the light and all the vision, and the right, the brain would eventually sort of turn it off in a way because it's not getting the light, it's not getting the visual stimuli. So it's really, really important that you watch for your baby's eyes to be straight ahead. Now this can be very disconcerting, um, and, and it's, it can be very difficult to tell if your baby's eyes are straight ahead, because when they're first born anatomically, they can have a very prominent lateral canthus right here is what it's called, and it can almost look like your baby's eye is turning in when it's truly not. So if you feel like your baby's eye is turning in, it's always a good idea to see your eye care provider. Um, we start eye exams at my office at six months of age. We participate in a program called Infancy, and there's many, many optometrists throughout the United States that participate in this program. You can go to infancy.org and look up an optometrist that will check your baby's eyes um, as young as six months or some even before that. Okay, so if you've made sure that their eyes are developing correctly, straight ahead, what you can do to influence is to use high contrast targets as well as pro lots of primary colors. Remember, they are only able to see black and white, so you want to um, give them things they can see, but they're also developing that color vision, so you want to introduce a lot of color as well. You might be wondering how your optometrist can check their eyes. I mentioned that you, you may want to go in if you feel like their visual development is not where it should be. And there are a couple of tools we use. There's actually a lot of tools we use. Um, instead of relying on subjective measurements, subjective means I'm asking you a question and you're giving me the answer. You can tell me something. Well, babies unfortunately can't necessarily tell us things, at least in our language. 
Um, and so we have to use objective measures and we have a lot of those. We have ability to shine light in the back of their eye and tell what their prescription is. Um, we also can use observation and just watch the way their eyes move and work together. And then we have some special tools as well. I mentioned that infants can see black and white and have great contrast sensitivity. This right here is um, the way that we test infant acuity or what they're able to see with these gratings. So this right here is a high contrast grating basically show the infant two targets and their eyes will always go to the high contrast one versus the low and then what we do is we get progressively smaller with our targets and this is how I'm able to assess what your baby can see if they're able to differentiate the difference between black and white on this side right here their eyes will move to that target I also use things like puppets and toys and shiny lights and we can observe your child's eyes in that fashion as well. That's a lot of information but to sum it up babies don't see a whole lot when they're first born. Their vision is about 2400 at first. They start recognizing faces within the first two weeks. Um, their color vision develops over the first 18 months to two years. And just remember initially, you're really working with just rods. You don't have cones yet. And so it's gonna be high contrast targets, black and white, that's gonna spur along that visual development. Finally, watch for your child's eyes to be straight, working together, moving together. And if you have any question about that whatsoever, or even if you don't, it's a great idea to get your child's eyes checked by an optometrist through the infancy program. I'll link below infancy.org where you can use the doctor locator and find a local optometrist that um, participates in the program. It's totally free. We just want to see your child's eyes early, early on and catch any potential issues. Thanks as always for tuning in. We love having you here. Tune in every Wednesday at 4 o'clock for new videos. Make sure to like and subscribe.